we in the Dallas-Fort Worth area feel especially close to Peggy Fleming because uh, she and her husband, Dr. Greg Jenkins, were there for quite some time, but now you, you've given up the Dallas apartment, huh? Yes, we're living in San Francisco now. He's doing his internship there. So we're kind of excited. It's like back home for me. <laughs> yes. Well, San Francisco's a nice place. We, yes. we, we're sorry that you gave up Dallas. Thank you. Hey, you are going to do another special on NBC. Has the time and date been set yet? Uh, not really. I think it's going to be sometime after Christmas, and it'll be shot, I think, November and December. So they're you know, going to do a real quick editing job, and uh, they did it on the last special. They had like um, less than a month to edit the thing and put it on the air. So they can do it if they set up their little editing room over there in Europe. So you're, that's uh, just what I was going to ask you, where you would be doing right. this. Right, it's going to be from Europe. It'll be um, in Switzerland, and it'll be, let me see, I guess in Germany is the other place. But we can't move around too much because it's really expensive to move all your equipment. So uh, those are the two favorite, favorite places that I like. It's where Greg and I met. And it's is where that Davos I, thing? Uh-huh. Oh. Davos, Switzerland, and I learned how to ski there. And what else? Have I won my first world championship there, so it really means a lot to go back there for me. <laughs> yes, and then where in Germany will you be shooting? We'll be in Garmisch, Germany. So, like, that's the most American part of Germany, and I've done a lot of exhibitions in it. I think they have the Olympics there in 32 or 46 or something like that. I can't remember. Uh -huh. Now, when you're skating for television, do you find that you have to do anything different as opposed to when you're skating in the ice polys, for instance? Well, not really, because, you know, you still have to smile, but maybe you're smiling to an empty wall. <laughs> but I think, you know, for training, is skating with a show is a very good place to, like, learn how to do all, you know, the new little tricks, how to get an audience to, you know, m feel more of your skating. And uh, it's, it's a good experience, but I think you skate just about the same as you would in a, in a show. I tried to. <laughs> Having any special guest stars with you for this special? I, I really don't know who it's going to be. I guess we will have some, but um, we haven't really decided yet because it's still kind of far away. <laughs> so it, you know, it should be, you know, taking us about maybe a month to shoot the whole show. Taking it sort of slow. Most of the specials are shot in like a week or two. And when you take your time and you know you go for every little detail, it, it really, really shows up. The last special they took. It was the most tedious of all the specials that I've done, and that was number three. And uh, I was just thinking, oh, when I'm doing this you know, special, I thought, oh, I don't want to you know, retake it again and do this again. And it really you know, turned out to be the best. It, the, the work was worthwhile, I think, so I did very well. Your costumes and everything in the last special were so outstanding, the Sun Valley special mm -hmm. it was. Uh, have you been thinking about costumes for this one? Well, uh, not yet, because um, we don't really know exactly what we want to do in the special. We have sort of ideas, but that comes after we get the program sort of going. And then the designer comes down and sort of sees the program and listens to the music, and then he can think of a, a design that would be more you know, toward that kind of a number. It's really good. He's He's learning about skating. You know, we took him down on our first special, and he watched, you know, most of the practice sessions, and he was so cute. You know, he, he would watch them all and think of all these different designs. He uh, writes up about three different designs, and then I pick from that, and uh, he's very nice to do that for me. You recently did a fashion show in New York, and I saw a picture of you, and it looked like you were wearing something like fur knickers. Is that what it was? You know what I'm referring to? I don't think so. I didn't wear any fur knickers. But what was it? It was a fashion show for Ben Kahn's new collection of furs, and I modeled about five of his coats. I had mostly coats on. Why would that look like knickers in the book? I don't know. <laughs> I better look at that again. It could have been. But I thought it was oh, it could have been a suit. He had this little oh. baby lamb fur uh, suit. It was really cute. A little two piece the skirt. But I guess in skates it looks a little different, but they had the fashion show on a on the ice. They had a little tank and they put it in the ballroom of the Park Lane Hotel. And it, it came out just so much fun. They had spotlights and they had the little um, trees with the snow on. They had a backdrop of uh, film, you know, ski scenes and people skiing down mountains. It was really good. It was 
lot of fun. Peggy, when you are though, choosing costumes, are there any particular things that you must have or mustn't have so that you have the room and the agility that you need? Well, we always have to wear them sort of short. If we want to really, really skate, they have to be very short. And I love chiffon because the movement of the material just kind of floats around, and that's my favorite thing to skate in. But um, now they like all the glitter because when the spotlights come on, you you should have something that does glitter and pick up the lights. But it's so heavy, and it, it, that that was my biggest problem at the very beginning when I first turned professional. Is skating in the costume that was, you know, weighing about five pounds and all full of glittery beads, and then you couldn't move as well. And, I used to, you know, skate in jerseys, and I could always move, and it would feel like a leotard. And now, you know, you're all bound up with boning <laughs> and all this kind of stuff, but it makes the costume last a whole year. And you know, a jersey dress just can do that, and chiffon won't hold up that well unless it's just the sleeves. How but do you feel about, about wearing things on your head? Well, I'm getting more used to that too. I, I would never wear hair when I was my very first year in the show. All the girls said, "Oh, you have to wear hair." And, you know, it just takes you a while to get your confidence and, you know, learning how to pin it your way so that you feel secure. When it feels a little loose, you always feel, oh, it's going to come off. And that would be the most embarrassing thing in the whole world that could happen to a girl out in the ice. Because you're the only one there. That, it takes, well, it's uh, worse than that, though. It takes away your concentration. It does. <laughs> Peggy, you are just so charming and delightful, and I Thank can't tell you. you how much I've enjoyed seeing you out here in North Thank Hollywood. Thank you. It's nice seeing you again. <laughs>